Hey there guys and welcome back to Unjaded Jade. It has been another long while. Firstly, apologies for the light. It's kind of just like dark and weirdly lit, but we're gonna go with it. Okay, so where to start? Um, I have just had another month at university. Crazy. Time just flies. Like time flies in general, but at university, time flies even more. It's crazy, just like the days, the weeks, Blurry. Oh, funny story. Um, I don't have a phone right now. I haven't actually had a phone for about a week. Fun facts about Jade. I am stupidly clumsy and I dropped my phone in the toilet. It was like balanced on the sink. I was playing music while I was brushing my teeth. I tried to breach and grab something. Bam. The phone falls into the toilet. I awkwardly trying to clutch for it and it's gone. Which isn't really ideal because I also have no sense of direction so I have been struggling my way through the city and I also can't really go on social media which has been good and bad. But yeah, I'm gonna take you through my first month back at university this year. If you don't know, I go to this weird school called Minerva. It is it is an accredited degree, don't worry. It's a super international program. It's great, I love it. I'm British, but I live in San Francisco, which is crazy. So yeah, okay, when I first arrived back into the city, we were thrust into this weekend, which is like orientation, getting back into life here. It was called Elevation this weekend. A big focus of this semester is like, professional development, you know? Trying to work out kind of what you wanna do with your life, trying to work out for me anyway, what I definitely want to major in. We had this really cool how to network event. It was like in this fancy church and they brought in speakers and we got to just practice networking. I think it's something like 80% of jobs people get are often through referrals or someone that they know directly or indirectly. So networking and people skills and that kind of thing is super important. We had a city exploration day. It was just a very cool weekend. Also, it's just so nice being reunited with everyone and because it is such an international community. I don't know, we just have our own kind of like culture in our residence halls of such a mismatch of cultures. Like it is its own thing. And I really love it here. I love my roommates, missed people. Yes, happy to be here. And as I said, this semester, one of my focuses really is professional development alongside all the work and the studies and the assignments. Finally, finally, Jade, this has been on my list for like a year. I finally updated my LinkedIn and like, made some effort there. Started connecting with people more, I started looking up more events and trying to like go to things in the city. I've been challenging myself to like try and find people in the city in a career that I'm interested in and like hit them up and be like, hi, would you like to go for tea with me so that I can just bombard you with questions and interview you about your life and just stuff I can learn from you? Because I really don't know what I want to do in the future and I think part of the best way to learn is to ask people who are in potential careers that I'm interested in. I wrote my resume, AKA my CV. I'm writing cover letters and trying to apply to internships. Honestly, I don't really mind that much if I don't get an internship. I literally on my first year, but it's good experience to try. Minerva also has links to this like program in Tokyo and they have some really cool internships. And there's this one that I'm really interested in. It's like intersection of marketing and education. Um, so I just sent off my application to them yesterday and who knows? Oh, we had this really cool event in one of the first weeks, which was called Civitas, which is basically where they get 150 professionals from different sectors in San Francisco and they get us and it's like a business networking event. It was cool to try and put into practice some of the things they've been teaching us about how networking should be less like transactional, like selling yourself, try and get a job, try and get an internship instead. What can you offer them? Like, what can they learn from you? How can you have a cool conversation? And I met this guy and I literally want his life. Like, he's just incredible. He's done so much international development work. He's worked for, with like the UN and nonprofits. And he has a podcast and now he works in alternatives to factory farming and is, is vegan and a super ethical, cool guy. So yeah, I guess I'm just trying to learn about different sectors and professional stuff and uh, that has just been on my mind. Okay, so today we're channeling strangely formal vibes. Here's my wonderful coaching group. Yay! I'm Hannah, I work at Minerva, helping to host this event. Also, quick aside, I got this top for literally five euros in the Netherlands over Christmas. You can thrift some really nice professional clothing. <laughs> this semester's content thus far, we have had less work, like the end of last semester was just, I was dying. Last semester, I think I did something like 25 assignments. An assignment is like 
it was like around 1,000 to 2,000 words on something you have to do. It's like an essay, a, a coding project, but something that's not doable in like an hour. And we've had a few this semester, but it hasn't been like too much. One of my priorities this semester too is looking after Jade. Hi, hello, yes, I need to sleep more, I need to exercise more, I need to eat better, I need to watch my budgeting. I just need to like, not even say need, I don't like the word need. I deserve to, I deserve to feel happy and healthy and fit and well here. And that is a priority for my life as well as socializing and doing all these other things. And it's funny because I think focusing on my mental health and all the like intangible fundamentals, I think improves the academics and the professional stuff. So that's been good. That's been going like in tandem with that. Yes. I went to Alcatraz. I've been a tourist. That was so cool. Alcatraz, mad place. If you don't know what it is, it was the most high security prison in America. They sent like the worst convicts there. I went to the Women's March in San Francisco, which was incredible, very empowering. I've had a lot of cool discussions about intersectional feminism and the feminism movement in general and like why I feel like it's kind of stagnated a bit. In most of the Western world, I feel like more of the tangible things in the movement, like legality and politics and stuff has kind of been solved. And like the social issues around feminism and intersectional feminism, are like a lot harder to tackle. And it's interesting trying to think about like more concrete aims the movement of feminism can have. I've been doing a lot of reading. Oh, today, wow. Um, something we were set for our computer science course your gal is attempting to learn the basics of machine learning. Yep, yeah. mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Never, never thought I'd do that. Yeah, this year's education, I don't feel like I fully explained it to you guys because I think it's just long and confusing, but um, we just have, we have four courses and it's just like super real world applicable. It's just good. Um, I know it probably sounds like a scam every time I talk about it, but um, it's not, it's good. So yes, that is how my first semester has been so far. More personally, I'm learning a lot about setting boundaries with people and understanding my needs socially and like balancing alone time with meeting with people, balancing imposter syndrome and like comparison to really brilliant people, trying to work out what the hell I want to do with my life and feel content with the fact that I don't know. I'm learning a lot more about relationships and love life. Tea. Today at least I just feel in a very good place which I'm super grateful for. Uh, I love this city. As someone who's really not a city kid I feel like I'm I'm finally coming to really appreciate being in a city. Oh one. one. No. One, two, one, three, one. One, eight, one. one eight. I'm finally kind of learning to navigate because I've lost my phone, so like I've kind of forced to. Yes, that is Jade. That is how I am today. I hope you're good. Um, if you're not, don't worry, that's okay. I still fluctuate. The other day I just couldn't get out of my head. I don't even know what I was thinking about, but I was just overthinking everything and not feeling, not feeling on top, you know? But like today is another day where I'm like, what a great day to be alive. I guess that's how life is, hey. If no one has told you today, just a reminder that you are enough. You are worthy of being successful and feeling happy. You're worthy of love. You're worthy of opportunity. Okay, thank you for watching me ramble. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting a phone again. I'm also gonna start a series and it's gonna be something along the lines of student self-growth series or self-grow with me because I do so much Overthinking? Overthinking? No. Self-reflection and introspection and uh, reflecting on myself as a person in many realms of being a student and being a human. Stay tuned. Bye. Oh, my Pakistani friend just did my header, which is so cool. Um, they're doing their Pakistani 101 tomorrow, which is where they basically share their food, share their culture with us.